are on the Skyliner on our way to Epcot. We just stopped at the Riviera Resort at Le Petit Cafe for some coffee. Uh, in my opinion, possibly the like, best coffee, other than getting it to come through. Probably the best coffee in the they are both days yeah. after What'd you get? I got the cinnamon cold brew with Disney a little bit of cream added. I really like it. Dances, it's a lot of flavor, but the only flavor is cinnamon, so I don't know. Well, I'm not a big, like, sugary person, and it tastes really sugary. I just got the Shakerado, which is a double shot of espresso shaken with uh, milk, I think. <laughs> or cream, I don't remember. <laughs> Did you get any flavor added to it? No. Oh, okay. So just, yeah, shot it, double shot. Um, but yeah, now we are on the Skyliner in pursuit of Epcot. We have a Guardians of the Galaxy boarding pass number 92, which is the exact That's same group that we were yesterday we are for Tron. Epcot International so Gateway. Little, when so we arrive, a little fishy, I don't know if this thing's up to something. Well, it's strange that we got the exact same number twice. Uh, yes, and we are trying to get as much done as we possibly can in Epcot today. Yeah, because apparently there is potentially a hurricane coming. Was not news when we booked the trip, nor was it news when we left. <laughs> no, because trust me, I was checking the weather religiously prior to us leaving to figure out, you know, how hot it was going to be, what the weather was going to be like, because... We are from, I don't think we've ever even said, we're from Ohio. Hurricanes are not something that we are familiar with. Um, which I know, like, we're in, in central enough to where, thankfully, I don't think that we're in any like, danger or anything. But yeah, we're just trying to figure out what happens in, in Disney when moments, a hurricane we will be is potentially going to hit the coast. The Skyliner yeah. Because right now Please it looks like... Seated. This station it was the night for turning all I don't know if it's going to hit or if there's just going to be like strong storm surges in Tampa, which I know is only like 45 to 60 minutes away. So. Yeah, it's going to hit Gulf Side and it's going to hit north of where like Orlando is. But it's still going to send a lot of the like residual rains and winds. So, trying to get as much done as we can. We may have to change our off day from tomorrow to the next day. Wednesday, because yeah. right now they're expecting it to hit, like, Wednesday morning. Well, well, we'll see what we can get done, and maybe so potentially... Today's an interesting day. We are going to Epcot. We're going to try and, um... Everything. Get it all done. around the world, hit up the rides. Um, and then we're thinking about maybe the Magic Kingdom tonight for fireworks, which again was you? something we had planned to do later walking, this week, but now we're trying Disney to... Just sure make sure we get it done. Magical lounges, so lively How's the pork? It's good. I have the pork belly and black beans and rice from the Brazilian food. And the pork is really well done, uh, as you can see. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, it's a little, I think it was sitting for a little bit, it's a little dry, but it's still like that nice fatty flavor, and it's a really big portion for $6, so 100% I'd get it again. How's your waffle? Sorry, I got like a berry stuck in my berry seed stuck in my tooth. It was really good. <laughs> Which one did you get? Messy. The berry Wagyu Don. in Germany watching the trains people for <laughs> oh my gosh it smells so good in Germany Dan's picking up his favorite the I think the Hefeweizen We're sitting back in the Germany pavilion, uh, and I just got the Schaffelhofer. I think that's how you say it. The grapefruit beer. Uh, fun fact: this is the only beer that she has ever tried and actually liked. Let's mm -hmm. we'll see. I don't like fake beer. I don't really like alcohol in general, but especially beer. I mean, they like filled this. It tastes so much like grapefruit juice. Like, yeah. until like, I feel like it's at like the back of your throat, like, the weediness almost that yeah. beer has, but other than that. I think that kind of comes from the carbonation a little bit, not necessarily the weediness. But yeah, it's the only thing that you've ever tried in a beer category and been like, yeah, that's not bad. Now I'm gonna order us some pretzel bread pudding in summer. Yes. Summer fest. <laughs> I almost said summer house, so I'm like, I don't think that's right. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I've been wanting to try this for like six months now. So I'm super excited.
We're in China. What do you got? Um, I got the tipsy ducks of love. I've been wanting to try this for like three years, but have never pulled the trigger on it. Because it is kind of a strange concoction. It's coffee, black tea, cream, bourbon. Mm. Sounds not so refreshing on this 90 degree day, but it's got your upper and your downer, your caffeine and your alcohol. That, folks, is the face of enjoyment. It's interesting. Because, like, it's... Did it have vodka, too? It looked like he was... Bourbon. Was it? Yeah. It looked like he was pouring a vodka in it. I don't think so. Do you want to try it? Did you mix it? Because yeah. you just straight up like poured just like Yeah, that. I mixed it. It smells like just alcohol. It doesn't taste like just alcohol. It tastes like medicine. <laughs> it's got like a coffee and like mocha flavor like on the start. But then it it's weirdly like... weirdly tastes like after a second. Like the initial taste was like kind of medicine and then the afterburn was almost like a thin mint, almost. Like a chocolate and yeah. tea flavor. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but... I, I, I will not be joking. I think it's, I think it's good. <laughs> For it's... 13 75 you're gonna finish it. Well, yeah. <laughs> surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud. And avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being.
I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. Store all carry-on items in the undersea compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties.
clouds over there. We are on the Skyliner currently, so we're hoping that the Skyliner continues to run to get us all the way back to Pop. Um, and then tentatively Magic Kingdom tonight if the yeah. weather holds out. So Yeah, I think this is, these are just clouds. They flew over there, but there's... Yeah, there's darkness around us, and then we are still kind of waiting to see what the next couple of days are going to hold, so. Yep. Check the weather tonight and see what we're going to Yeah. And we are stopped at like the highest point. That's so cute. Stop. <laughs> Magic Kingdom. It's super relaxing. Like now I look like this place is chaos during the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like staying for the fireworks, grabbing some food, and then one final ride. We just end up walking out basically alone. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's so nice.